guys welcome to the channel in this project we will explore the process of pushing docker images to the container registry in gcp so before we start uh, just uh, briefly to mention the container registry is a managed docker container image it's an image storage service that allows you to store manage and secure your docker images in a centralized repository so by following these steps this series of steps and configuring appropriate IAM rules will accomplish the goal of pushing a Docker image to the GCP container registry. So these are the project steps. So as you can see, first and foremost, we are going to do some authentication and project setup. And then we will configure Docker for GCP. Then we will provide some IAM rules. And then we will export the credentials after we create a JSON key. And then we will tag the Docker image. And finally, we will push the Docker image to the container registry. So don't worry, I'm going to paste this in the comment section, these tabs, so you can follow and copy the codes. So now let's go to terminal. And first and foremost, we want to run gcloud auth login. So let me copy this command and paste it here and this will do some authentication so here i have to choose my account and i have to click on allow and now as you can see it's saying you are now authenticated with gcloud cli so now i can go back and then use the second command to configure Docker for GCP, which is gcloud auth configure Docker. So now let me paste it here. And now it's, as you can see, it's now uh, configured. Now I have to run the gcloud config set project and my project ID. And let me go to let me go to my GCP console. And here I'm going to copy my project ID. And here in the terminal I'm going to paste it. And now as you can see it's updated property. Now we can move on to the another step. So the next step is to go to service account and provide these following the rules which is artifact registry administrator and then the rules artifact registry create on push repo admin as well as storage admin so if i go to my service accounts as you can see i have already created a service account and it's the name of this service account is container iam if i go to iam i did the access management i have this service account and if i go to this added principle you can see i provided these rules uh, that i have showed you earlier so make sure you provide these following three rules and then click on save so after that we can export the credentials by running this command export google application credentials and then you need to path to your credentials.json so basically after you create a service account like let's say container iam you have to create a json key if you go to the case you will see add a key you say you can create a new key and it should be json so as you can see in my case i have already created a json key and i downloaded to my uh, computer so now i have to go to terminal and run this uh, following command which is export let me show you again uh, the export google application credentials and let me copy that and I have to specify the path to the JSON key, which is the container access.json. So if you are using a Mac, click on the right of the mouse and you will see the copy. So you have to press the option uh, key. So you will see here the copy container access JSON as a path name. I think you already know this uh, tip. So let's copy that now. 
And here I'm inside the brackets, inside these quotes, uh, double quotes, I'm going to paste it and click on enter. Now we can move on to the next step, which is we need to tag the Docker image. So in this case, you need to run Docker tag and then the image, which is in my case, for example, let's say Ubuntu. And here you need to specify gcr.io and then you need to copy the project ID. And then again, you have to specify the image, uh, for example, Ubuntu. And finally, you have to write the column and then version one. So let me go here um, in my terminal. I want to first run Docker images to see the Docker images. So here you can see I have uh, several images, as you can see, Mongo, Nginx, and I have already version one of this uh, Nginx image. So if I go to, for example, repositories, um, let me go to the container registry. Uh, here I, we, I, we are inside the container registry. As you can see, I have pushed it two images to the container registry in GCP and GenX and Ubuntu. Now, as an example, I want to show you how to push another Docker image. For example, let's say we want to push, um, let's say we want to push Postgres, all right? So in order to push the Postgres, we need to follow this command again. So we need to tag. So. I have already run that command. Uh, let me show you docker tag. So as you can see in this case, nginx. So we are going to remove the nginx. Instead of nginx, I want to run postgres. Postgres. And then dcr.io forward slash stereo strand is my project ID. So do not copy my project ID. So just go to your GCP console and click on this project and copy your project ID and then after that for slash and then again the image uh, the the name which is uh, postgres postgres and then colon version one if i click on enter and if i run again docker images you will see here the the postgres right so let me control to clear this page and then again docker images and here let's see we have uh, ubuntu we have nginx and i guess we don't have the postgres yet right we have the ubuntu we have postgres here as you can see it was a bit difficult to find but yes here you can see now we want to push this Postgres to the Postgres image to the container registry. So in order to, to push, you have to follow this command, which is docker push gcr.io project ID and then the image and version one. Let me show you again. So let's go to the history and here I have the command docker push. Now instead of uh, nginx, I want to delete that and run Postgres, change it to Postgres. So now we can basically um, run this command. Now, as you can see, it's pushing this image to the container registry. So basically, you need to wait a few seconds. And now, if I go to Google Cloud Container Registry and then refresh that, you will see the one more image which is Postgres, as you can see, now it's available. So basically, this is the whole, the structure, this is the whole steps that you can follow to push Docker images to the Google Cloud Platform Container Registry. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next videos.